Good morning, Connections. Glad you're here. We are beginning the week where we left off of talking about the Holy Spirit. Yesterday, we introduced the Holy Spirit in power. And this isn't a real foreign concept to us. We are very familiar with objects having potential, but it's only potential until we apply power. Our smartphones are an essential part of, of how we navigate through this world, but part of that navigating through the world is we need to find a power outlet to recharge it. For when it, its battery is drained, it ceases to be useful. In the same way, we have great potential. We have been knitted into the family of God. We have been saved through what Jesus accomplishes on the cross. And we too have this amazing potential, but it requires power. We often refer to that power as confidence, confidence to move out in faith, trusting that God will make a way. That way is the Holy Spirit. So that's where we're going to focus this week, is the ability to overcome. We're going to start in John 6, 63. The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. And the very words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But some of you do not believe me. For Jesus knew from the beginning which ones didn't believe, and he knew who would betray him. All right. So Jesus has underlined many times the importance of spirit, that we are full of potential but we do not, we lack the ability to accomplish anything on our own. The only way that we will accomplish what Jesus is speaking of and what he is laying the groundwork for is by coming to him and recognizing the importance of the Spirit. Paul speaks of this in 2 Corinthians 3, 4. We are confident of all of this because of our great trust in God through Christ. It is not that we think we are qualified to do anything on our own. Our qualifications come from God. He has enabled us to be ministers of his new covenant. This is a covenant not of written laws, but of the spirit. The old written covenant ends in death. But under the new covenant, the Spirit gives life. We must tap into the power source. We can't leave the room with this potential and not power up. The purpose of the Holy Spirit, Jesus supplies after ascending to his rightful place, the right hand of his Father, is that power up, which takes us from this potential to being able to accomplish what God has for us to accomplish. It is too big for us to accomplish on our own. That is by design, but it isn't too big for God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your willingness to feed our potential. We seek you today. You have set a great 
number of things before us to accomplish. Many of them feel heavy and impossible. But that's only because we have not tapped in to the source. We submit today, Lord, for a recharge. So that we might accomplish greater things than we can imagine. That your power might flow through us to reach our neighbors. That the love that you have for this world would be evident within us. Help us reach our full potential. Help us to accomplish the things that you need us to accomplish. For your glory and your honor, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, that'll get us rolling this week. Look forward to a week of exploring this topic more as we continue to press into what's the purpose of the Holy Spirit. So we see each other again. Know that I love you and I miss you. And please... Be good. <laughs>